In this video, we're going to look at a related rates problem involving a cylinder. It says a water tank in the shape of a cylinder with a radius of 2 meters and a height of 4 meters um, is what we have. If water is being pumped in at 2 cubic meters per minute, find the rate at which the water level is rising at 3 oh, meters oh, deep. Okay, cool. So what we have is, by the way, um, a right circular cylinder. And this probably would be a lot harder if it was on its side. So we're to assume it's this shape right here. Okay. So that's our cylinder. Okay. Now, the whole thing is a height of 4. And my radius has a um, value of 2. Okay. Now, hopefully you can imagine that this is filling up with water. So think about like a bucket, right? A bucket with a hose. And you're watching it go in, okay? So as you're watching, you're, you're noticing that it's rising. And it's probably looking like it's rising at a constant rate. Okay. Part of that is because, um, number one, it turns out it is. But um, it's because, think about a slice of this cylinder. So what I like to tell students is remember um, the cranberry jelly at Thanksgiving that comes out of a can? Um, I don't care if you love it or hate it, but hopefully you've all seen it come out and it's got like jellied and it's got all the ridges. Okay, well think of this water kind of like that jelly that we have these slices of circles. So what I'm asking you is if they were to slice this into circles, are all the circles the same or are they changing? So the area of each circle, is the area of each circle as I slice it the same or is it changing? Is it getting skinnier or fatter? It, it's, it's staying the same. So what happens is that for cylinder problems, so we're going to talk about the volume of a cylinder, which is pi r squared h. However, the radius is actually never going to change. So we're going to put that 2n. So I'm going to have pi times 2 squared, which is 4 pi h. Now, again, the reason why is think about um, a cylinder versus um, like a cone, an ice cream cone. Okay. So if I were to slice the cone, we'd get different sized circles, correct? Here, this cylinder, if I were to slice it horizontally and get circles, all these circles are the same. So we're going to put in the 4. However, the H needs to say an H. We don't want to put in 3 right now. And the reason why is think about this bucket filling with water, right? As it's filling with water, that height is changing. The radius isn't, but the height's changing. So that needs to stay in. Okay. Now that I have my equation, I'm going to go ahead and take a derivative with respect to T. So dv dt equals 4 pi dh dt. Now some people might be thinking, Jen, how come we didn't do the product rule over here? Because pi is a constant, okay? So um, this is a little big, bigger than 3, right? 3.14159. Okay, so this is our equation that I'm going to plug into. All right, now, hopefully they gave me something. And if you look up at the top, you can see at the very top up there. Um, it says that it's coming in, the water's coming in at 2 cubic meters per minute. So cubic meters per minute is how the volume is changing. So this is changing at 2 cubic meters per minute. Now it turns out they also told me that, the, that we're going to freeze time at a height of 3 meters. But it turns out it doesn't matter what the height is, it's going to actually rise at a constant rate. And what that constant rate is... looks like it's 1 over 2 pi. Okay. So um, the constant rate that in this example it is raising, rising at is 1 over 2 pi. So it doesn't matter if I'm at 1 meters deep, 2 meters deep, 1.3 meters deep, 3.7 meters deep. It's still going to be ra rising at this rate. So we would say that um, the water level is rising at 1 over 2 pi. And for those who are like, uh, Jen, what number is 1 over 2 pi? Apparently, it's the same thing as 0.16 meters per minute. 
and there we have it. For cylinders, you will always plug in the radius from the beginning, always for cylinders, because um, assuming it's standing upright like we have it, um, that's not changing at any point in the problem.